Welcome back everyone. The iPhone 8, in my opinion, is one of those devices that has actually been a pretty decent ride on iOS 15 so far. So this specific device, this iPhone 8, I've been rocking iOS 15 for almost a week now. It's Saturday or Sunday when I'm making this video. So it's almost been a week and I think it's been a pretty decent ride. It's definitely not perfect, but I think for the most part, for a lot of people out there, it probably gets the job done. But here's the issue, right? I think, you know, I'm gonna stay, say the good stuff first. Stability-wise, it's actually been pretty decent. I think speed-wise, it's actually been pretty much the same as the previous version, which is actually a pretty good thing. I don't want these, you know, specific versions of software from one version to the other to have massive changes in the speed or the stability. I want it to be just as stable, if not more stable. And I also want the speed to be the same, if not faster, but I'm not really worried about the speed with it. You know, I think a lot of people are worried about the speed. That's why I do speed comparisons. Me personally, if it's slower, faster, it's not really that big of a deal to me anymore. Like it used to be. If you watch my videos a couple years ago, that's kind of what the case was. But now I don't really care that much. I care more about stability. And this iPhone 8 seems like it handles iOS 15 fairly fine. So that's actually a pretty an amazing thing for a first beta. But the problem of what I have and why iOS 15 on these older iPhones just isn't as good as I thought it was, it's because it's missing a lot of those cool key features that iOS 15 kind of highlighted. And here's the problem iOS 15 wasn't even that crazy big of an update. It's not like we got some crazy cool legendary feature that we just can't live without. I think FaceTime, you know, Lynx is really cool and FaceTime got a big update. But the problem is, is that even within FaceTime, we, we don't have the spatial audio, you know, which is very annoying. And we don't have portrait mode on FaceTime as well. And that's another very annoying thing. Actually, spatial audio may come, but we don't have portrait mode, which is very annoying, even on phones that support portrait mode in their camera. So this one obviously doesn't support portrait mode, so it's okay. But phones like the iPhone 10, 8 plus, 7 plus, and you know, those phones, they don't get this capability, which is so annoying. On top of that, we don't have a live text within, you know, I met or within our photos. This is another very annoying thing. I don't see why they couldn't do this. Now, I understand they needed like a neural engine or whatever, but there are apps and websites in the app store or websites in the Safari browser that you can actually upload images to and extract, you know, text from. So that's another very annoying thing. Like, why can't we do that? You know, it makes no sense to me. If Apple can go ahead and integrate these features to, you know, these newer iPhones, I don't see why they can't do it for these, you know, older ones. And the bigger problem on top of that is that live text was one of the biggest features. They spent a lot of time talking about it and highlighting it in their, you know, keynote. The fact that we don't have that major feature in this update is a very weird thing. And I don't know why they did that in my opinion. So. Ultimately, I think iPhone 8, you know, in terms of the stability of it and everything has been pretty decent on iOS 15. My major problem of it though is that we're kind of lacking out on a lot of features that these newer phones have that these phones could have easily supported. So it's a very annoying thing. I'm not too sure what they're going to do, but hopefully they go ahead and do something about it because it's in a very annoying thing in my opinion. So take it as you will, but that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.